Well, let's hope so for the sake of millions of people who are struggling in a cost of living crisis. What they're trying to do here is balance the nation's books on the backs of the poor. They're trying to pay for a cut to corporation tax, the big business, by emptying the pockets of struggling people. Look, they're talking about this as incentivising people to get back to work. Firstly, if you're talking about people who've dropped out of the labour market since the pandemic, the vast majority of them are not on benefits anyway. If you're talking about generosity of benefits, in the early 80s, they were about 25% of average earnings. They're now down to 15%. In terms of not being fair to people in work, Right, this idea of divide and rule, where you say to low-paid workers, you're being mugged, don't be angry at the people mugging you, be angry at someone else who's not being mugged quite as much as you have, but it doesn't make any sense anyway, because 40% of people on universal credit are in work. They're on low pay, and their pay's being squeezed, and their dependents on in work of this? benefits in, or in, it, in order to live. Use the Elvis mic, please. First of all, who says she's going to do this? There is, has been no announcement that she's going to do that. What people are now doing, and it's a very common thing that happens, and well, I know it from personal experience, is that when there are a range of possibilities, you home in on one that you think will be controversial, and you say, oh, the government might do this. Now, you know, unless Liz Truss has actually said this is what she is going to do, um, I don't think uh, the discussion is terribly beneficial. Would she be justified in doing it because, in the end, the government has got to get spending down? Well, it's got to get spending down. I think you've got to be very careful which benefits. Um, I think there is a difference between able-bodied people out of work on benefit and people who are, say, severely disabled and aren't going to be able to work and, 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 and can't, can't meet it that way. Well, no, let, let, I did actually let you have a complete go, so let me have one. Uh, so uh, I think that um, it's always right to review benefits. Um, but it should be said that there has been no announcement on cutting them uh, and building this up and then probably presenting it as a U-turn when she never announces it at all. So I'm feeling is your, your, OK, we haven't got your view on whether it'd be wrong to do it. We, you think it would be wrong to do it? I, I've just well, said. Okay, it depends would, on hold on. It would be what we're talking about here is pay again, emptying the pockets of struggling people, 40 percent of them low paid workers. The rest of them, according to the government's own figures, overwhelmingly people who are out of work for good reasons. They're carers, they're disabled people. We've got virtual full unemployment in this country. The problem is lots of people are in low-paid, insecure full jobs employment. that don't... Full employment. Yeah. But we have, unfortunately, people in lots of low-paid work, so that's why the state has to step in. So what you're talking about is a double whammy. People's earnings are going down because of inflation, and then the in-work benefit to support them and their families gets cut at the same time. And this is being used because corporation tax being cut Will, will cost £18 billion. So if you don't increase departmental spending in line with inflation, that costs, and, that, will, yeah, that will save yeah. £18 billion pounds to I'm, allow big business to come have... Come on, come on, I'm, I'm tired, tired of hearing uh, people having a go at big business and, and corporation tax and all the rest of it, when what we actually benefit from is when the economy is booming and doing well. That's what the growth plan is supposed to be about. We all benefit if business has incentives and we get investment into the country we all benefit so stop talking about it as if this is some esoteric thing that doesn't affect us all it does yes go on respond the growth plan is I don't, everything i don't often quote rishi sunak the conservative former chancellor the reason he increased corporation tax and reversed the tax rises which happened under cameron osborne and following that is as he pointed out investment did not go up he said Having got the figures, as someone in charge of the Treasury, it didn't work. All it did is lose revenue. Now, I don't think Rishi Sunak, a Conservative Brexiteer, has any reason for ideological purposes to deny the evidence. All right, let's just it, hear what... Let's work. just hear what...